Hi and welcome to my channel where today I'm covering the case of Who's Cali Doe? But before that, I would just like to address my last video on Princess Blue and the fact that Princess Blue has now been identified, which is amazing news. Princess Blue has now been identified as Julie Gwen Davis and of course this case is still unsolved but we're potentially one step closer to finding out who done this to her and why. She's got her identity back and can now have a proper burial with her family and her friends. I would also just like to put my disclaimer here that I mean absolutely no disrespect to any of the people mentioned in the videos. I am researching all of this by myself online and I'm sorry if any information is inaccurate. But for now, let's get into the video. On the 10th of November 1979, the remains of a young female had been found. The woman had been shot once in the back of the head and once in the back. It is believed that the girl had been murdered the day before her body had been found. Her body was still fully clothed and showed no signs of sexual assault. The young woman was named Callie Doe as she was found near the city of Caledonia in New York. The young girl remained unidentified for 35 years. On January 25th, 2015, Callie Doe was finally named as Tammy Jo Alexander. Tammy Jo had been missing from Florida at the age of 16. A former boyfriend said that Tammy Jo did in fact disappear in the spring of 1979. Thanks to Carl Koppelman, who is an LA based artist who illustrates digital images of unidentified missing people. He sent a possible match between Cali Do and Tammy Jo Alexander after realising the two images were very alike. Tammy's half sister submitted her DNA afterwards, confirming that Cali Do was Tammy Jo Alexander. It is unclear how Tammy managed to actually get to Caledonia, although it is believed she had potentially hitchhiked her way there as this wasn't uncommon for Tammy to do. It is also important to know that Tammy possibly could have been running away from home as this again was something Tammy was known to do and had done it multiple times beforehand. At the time of her disappearance, Tammy Jo was spotted having a meal with a man in a diner, although this man has remained unidentified and has never been located by police. The man was described to have been between 5 foot 8 and 5 foot 9 inches tall. He had curly hair and wore glasses and he potentially drove a tan station wagon. Serial killer Christopher Wilder had thought to have been involved in Tammy's murder but unfortunately he was killed by police in 1984 before being questioned. Another serial killer named Henry Lee Lucas confessed to killing Tammy but this confession was later proven to be false. In 2014, Tammy's childhood friend had actually reported Tammy missing after years of trying to get in touch with Tammy to no avail. Tammy's friend had managed to trace down her half-sister and when speaking back and forth, Tammy's half-sister realised no one in the family had heard from Tammy in years, at least since the 1970s. This led both girls to worry about Tammy and where she was and if she was okay. A year later, Tammy was discovered to have been Cali Doe. It is unknown if Tammy originally had been reported missing by family. Although family have said they did report her missing, police did not take the disappearance seriously as Tammy was known to run away frequently. In 2016, three men that were actually acquaintances of Tammy were in connection to her murder, but none of their DNA matched the DNA found present in Tammy's clothing. Tammy's headstone has now been replaced by her name, her date of birth and her date of death. It previously read lest we forget unidentified girl. Thank you very much if you stuck around for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and stick around for more. Bye guys.